the top right in the yellow from South Korea. We have focus. And the bottom left. From Europe, from Poland, we have Terra. Yesterday, as I said, Focus won a tournament. The WSB, the Warcraft Survival Battle in Korea. On his way there, he defeated Law Lion and uh, Mikhail. Mikhail in the final, best of five. Where Mikhail was playing a lot of Crypt Lord. No Crypt Lord here. Terra is going with the DK opening. What's Focus gonna choose to do? Farseer and a Peon Scout. Orcs have been using Peon Scout more and more to get the early information. I think Hitman has started moving away from the Peon Scout again. But a lot of Orcs certainly try to make use of this option nowadays. Does slow down your tech a little bit if you do this. I think it's like 9 or 10 seconds or something like that. But it is of course also valuable intel. So when you face a Crypt Lord with a Farseer, normally you want to be ultra aggressive. Delay the expansion as much as you can. Kill a few Acolytes, maybe uh, Ghouls, Beetles and so on. And then especially Focus and Lin have been playing it super aggressively with a Fire Lord second and then going all in against the expansion. But of course, there is no Crypt Lord here, so we're gonna have DK versus Farseer. And in that case, if you play Farseer against DK, normally you want to go for a tier 2 expansion and mass. And especially on this map, that's really good. The TC creep route is excellent, you can go green into natural, into merchant, and boom, you're level 3 right away. And the Farseer, if he is uh, level 3 himself by that time, he can pressure the undead a lot and buy a lot of space. That is sort of the overall game plan that you normally see occurring with a Farseer play. And uh, I think a lot of orcs play the Farseer way too aggressively. I think you should uh, be way more creep invested and do that to get the level 3 because early level 2 wolves are very very effective. Run took a lot of damage here. Perhaps a little too much. But there are going to be heal selves and Farseer finds amazing items. The shop is not quite finished, but of course on this map you can also heal for free at the fountains, which is pretty nice to have. A player's forces are under attack. Farseer with a bit of a creep lead, but it's very close between the two players. Tech timing, also the orc slightly ahead. That's a cool camp to steal away. If Terra should be able to steal this one, that means the TC can't get level 3 too easily. There's a chain lightning here, Terra has to be aware. A player's forces are under attack. Lots of mana being drained out of this DK. Pretty good early so far for Focus. He's got lots of mana still himself, pressuring these fiends. If now he also gets level 3 Farseer by the time the TC comes out, that would be absolutely perfect for him. Perhaps diving a little bit deep over here. Is that camp level 3? It's close. It's around 120 XP for a level 1 hero, I think, this camp. He gets level 3 here, that's, that's just picture perfect. Chain lighting. Oh. Doesn't invest it. Yeah, let's of course also give a bit of XP. Every little bit is worth something.
Runs all quite hurt. Oh, it's a attack. Shadow Hunter second. Shadow Hunter tier three. Staring at the uh, creeping so much I didn't even see it. DK super low. Where's the chain lightning? Oof. What? I think with chain lightning maybe he could have gotten that kill. But the next text was going to be coming in, so TP had to be used regardless. A player's are I've seen plenty of uh, Shadowhunters second and then double beastery, mass raiders, mass wyvern expanding behind it. But shadow second into tier 3 single beastery. I don't think I've seen that before. Focus is a master at manipulating creeps. With Hex and uh, pulling a camp out and so on. We've seen crazy plays by him. With red camps, for example. He's level 3 for the Farseer. Strong power spike. Before there are statues. The Undead here can't really take a fight very well. Statues are coming out very soon, though. And it's the tier 3 with the orb and destroyer form where Undead usually reclaims map control. Farseer and Shadowhunter are both not very good late game heroes. And both really bad against destroyers. So Destros seem to be the key unit over here. So Focus needs to get a something good against destroyers. He's getting a TC, which is not exactly very good against destroyers. Terra is immensely slowed down in his creeping, though. Focus knows what's up. Pulls out the red, but also a good scout by Terra. He knows this is going on, but I think this camp will be, or at least the Ogolo will be killed too fast for him to do anything about it. Oh! No way! Did he get it? No, right? No, 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 no. Looked kind of close, though. I think you should give all of these items to the TC. When he's level 3, at least. I guess for now, we should leave him on the far side. Then again, maybe you should also give him to the TC now. Shadow level 3. There's a Dark Ranger 3rd for Terra. Slide Supply lead for Focus. Not by much, but he's got level 3 Shadow Hunter. He's feeling strong with that. Destroyer comes in. And uh, there's no answer at all to this Destroyer. Not even an Orb of Lightning. DK needs to be careful, by the way. Doesn't have a TP anymore, but a big mana potion, which is going to be a big help. Lich level 2, DK 3, levels are looking fine for Terra, sort of. Focus is missing levels on the TC. A player's forces are under attack. Almost 600 gold here as well on Focus, so he could go for a tiny if he wants to be greedy. If he wants to play safer, he could just push into upkeep, creep the rest of the map, take a fight at some point. And if you win that fight late game, then you go for the tiny. That is sort of what we've been seeing in this matchup for a long time. So there's always pressure on the undead to never clearly lose a fight. Bracers. Worthless item for Terra, but at least not giving it to the Orc. And there is the Tiny Great Hall, indeed. 50 supply, Tiny Great Hall. Focus is going to see if this is uh, just going to go through. And if it does, it's going to be wonderful for him. TC level 3. Good timing. Up at 55 supply instantly. We don't have any kind of Torrent Totem yet. Just Berserkers and Raiders.
Destroyer's getting morphed. It seems like Terra is getting ready for the big fight. Would love to see a shop over here. Focus. Falling back. It is not quite yet level 3. First Nova doesn't connect that well. And Snare flying through on both destroyers. It's a lot of damage towards them. TC Stomp in the back line. Kodo gets up a Devourer as well. This just looks like the perfect fight for Focus. That destroyer dies as well. Stomp connects nicely and suddenly Terra's army has shrunk by <laughs> like 50%, 60% and dropping more and more. The DK still has plenty of mana but not much army left to actually use coils on. Lich level 3. That's a big one. But not much mana left on the second hero. Maybe he could even give the mana potion over, but now the DK is also low mana. Focus looking very solid here so far. Not very close to level ups. But he's got the levels he needs. He's got three across the board, which is exactly what you want. And he's using that power spike very well. TC again with a stomp. The ghouls were pulled, trying to do their best, but they don't survive long when there's Berserk activated. Hex, stomp, focus. Lich is dead. GG. And 1 0 for focus. Good play by focus. Um, not really challenged too hard. Pretty one side there. I, I'm just guessing, but it seemed to me like Terra was perhaps not very used to that ping. Some of his movement seemed a little bit weird. When there was this battle at the spider crab camp, the skeletons and fiends could have been used a little bit better. He did delay the level 3 on the Farseer for a long time, which is pretty good. But Focus has always been a killer in this matchup. Has even been able to defeat Happy 2-0 on land before, in case you guys remember last year at Dreamhack uh, Anaheim. We're playing on West India again, the server, which is uh, very fair conditions, 140 for both. I'm still hoping that maybe we get a Kazakhstan server someday in that one, or like Mongolia server, and that one is a better ping, but West India is the best we have at the moment. And of course, it's not just about distance from one player to the other, it's also about how the routing is set up. So, you can't just pull out a ruler and try to uh, get the perfect server location that way. War 3 Champions is still working on improving servers as much as possible. In fact, I think it was yesterday where they announced that they added in a new European East server to hopefully have better conditions for Europe against China. So let's get into our second map. Amazonia. Focus in the top right over the 1 0 lead. Against Terra.
Playing again. DK standard. No Crypt Lord here. Understandable, of course, on this map. Wait a minute. It's actually not a Tet Fiend opening. It's a DK fast into ghouls. I've been seeing this build a little bit more from players. I think we saw it from Sheik as well in the group stage. I don't think I've exactly figured it out yet. Because you don't have the benefit of the normal ghoul build. Where you have fast ghouls and lots of them at the beginning, which can help Players creeping tremendously, especially on a map like AZ. Farseer finally gets the last hit. But with his Acolyte Scout, Terra prevented the creeping of the lab. At least for a little while. Gonna go for a bit of creeping himself. And we do the see the light creep here attacked. now. Interesting that even on this map, where you're very likely not gonna see a uh, Crypt Lord, Focus still goes with the Farce here. Although, admittedly, this map is possibly the worst for Blade Master Triple Hero. Is there a, a worse map? No, I think this is actually the worst. Because of the fact that it's so hard to creep level 3 Blade, level 3 Shadow, level 3 TC. And the Undead can be aggressive fairly easily. One Ghoul taken out. You can creep very well, very quickly with Ghouls on AZ, but of course also they kind of die pretty fast. DK lost lots of mana already. Because you need it against the first troll camp. Another ghoul goes down. That one was denied. Farseer almost getting surrounded. I think now he's stuck. Yes. But he has a cloak. Terror did out. Does he have a reveal? Oh, he doesn't. That's a Farseer getting out. Another useful cloak of shadows. I recommend to you guys. In your ladder games from now on. Just keep the cloak. Just keep it. And see if you can't find a good use for it, because pretty often you can. Are under it's going to be a valuable experience here, going to the far seer as well. Terra is getting more from his lap, and he's getting great items. The village is going to be overjoyed. We just have ghouls for now. Focus normally, if there's an excuse for him to go Windriders, he's going to go Windriders. So that's kind of what I'm expecting to see here on Tier 2. That's pretty cool. Farseer harassing, keeping tabs on the DK, and the wolves and the grunts creeping in the meantime. For another fast level 3. And this main, by the way, does not have a Nerob Tower. The skeletons find the grunts. A town is under siege. But can't actually get a kill. One ghoul taken out with the wolves and the chain lightning. Tier 2 is finished though, so even losing acolytes wouldn't be that painful. But it is too painful it seems still. GG is called. 2-0 for focus. Oof. These games, these series, are passing by pretty quickly today.
And I have map three here starting in a sec. That was quite the second. Oh, are they red against red now? No. 2 0 lead for focus. Honestly, that result we were sort of expecting. Quite impressive for Terra to make it out of the group stage. But here now against Focus, that is a bit of a different level. He was able to beat Insup. But now Focus looking pretty hot. Is it time to go into some beetles? Papa Roach has eluded us so far today. But if you ask me, that's looking a lot like Papa Roach indeed. Good opening with, uh, I would imagine, the Creepy. Blademaster first is not that easy to pull off against Crypt Lord, but as shown by Hitman before, can be done pretty well with good preparation. But Focus sticks with the Farseer. He just likes his Farseer. On this map, you can also go for a cool Lightning Shield, Creep Route over here, Instant Level 2, get the Mercs, then be aggressive. Which is different from other maps. On most other maps, you want to go for Instant Harass, pretty much. With this opening, you uh, would allow the Narrow Tower and the Creeping to come up here freely. But a cancel of the expansion could still be possible. Shield creep right away. Our player's forces are under attack. And the instant expansion creep from the Crypt Lord. With four ghouls, you can creep this quite easily right away. Lumber is going to be lacking a little bit, so the expansion will not be coming up instantaneously, but the Ziggurat will. And that narrow tower being up early is a big deal. Oh, Focus even pulls a peon to the Merc camp so that at thirteen, at nineteen hundred hours, he can go for the Berserker right away. That's kind of cool. A Two peon scouts out attack. on the map, kind of. So that's gonna delay the tech by a good amount. Could start it now. Oh, is he gonna try to snipe the enemy merc camp away? That would be pretty sick. He could go for double berserker. Oh, double lightning shield creep. And double berserker. He has two grunts. A player's force is under attack. One Berserker here, and he's gonna get the other from the other side, probably. Damn, that's so sick. Level 3 Farseer already. Big healing. You definitely want to pick that one up. And he does. He's got a cloak! He's got a cloak again! But there's a dust this time around. Oh, he forgot he had the dust. Okay, Crypto gets the gauntlets, but... Focus is so strong right now. Oh, good surround. Very good surround right there to kill off that Berserk, but he doesn't quite get it. Pops the big mana potion to free, almost free the Berserker. Okay. Focus also lost quite a bit there. He used the big mana, lost the Berserker and the Shadow Priest. But he's got... Oh, no, he actually saved the Shadow Priest. But he's got a new Berserker coming in over here. 
Should definitely try to cancel this expansion. He still has enough time. With a big healing also. He doesn't have much to fear. Dude, these right clicks of the crypto, look at that. That's a lot of damage. Berserker will be going down for this though, and that is a pretty big loss. Did he just tower deny that? Maybe. Alright, this is a this is a brutal early game. There's lots of losses everywhere. Another surround against the Fars here. Terra is making quite a few good plays over here. He still has the dust. Another surround. Look at those surrounds, bro. Instantly going for the Beatles. Expansion is still not up, though. And this smells like Wyvern. Ah, then again, Tier 2 isn't finished, either. Parse here almost level 4. And here we are, the Fire Lord. Yep. You can summon... The lava spawn, the wolves right now, cancel the expansion again, and then he should have Wyvern ready. 1v3. A player's forces are under attack. The town is under siege. It's attacking into the main, actually. Focus still has the TP. He's microing the wolves in the back, so this shadow priest is going down. Level 4 Farseer, though. Man, that's so early. You want to kill off the lava spawn before they uh, split? Terra's pulling off a few nice surrounds here. Lava spawn so fast. Oh, and now it's the Crypt Lord who's surrounded, and there is no TP on him. This might be a quick one, you guys. Crypt Lord taken out. And that is indeed the GG. Oof. 3-0 for focus.